Come there and do vote in July 3rd. Ah, do you want Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Fatso. And it's been a scary week where we've learned that our country is full of ghosts, or as Zach likes to call them, registered voters, and that Zanu PF has got your phone number in their contact list. This week, Zimbabweans got the worst please call me back ever from Zanu PF. Well, it was more like a please vote me back. I don't have money to call you because I spent all the 15 billion you gave me, but if you vote me back into office, I promise I, I won't do it again anytime soon. Ndara, please vote for Mika. Vote for me. Yes, Zimbabweans were jamukaring after receiving bulk SMSs from the ruling party that shows somehow our personal information was shared. Zek was like, It wasn't me. The mobile phone operators were like, It wasn't me. And Shaggy was like, don't use my song, comrades. That's a copyright infringement. Mm -hmm. Clearly, someone gave our personal information to Zanu PF. The question is, who? Hmm. Everyone has been pointing fingers at Zek, but let's calm down, comrades, and let's get to the bottom of this together. Here are our top three suspects. Could it be your mother? You millennials don't like going home to visit your parents, so now they've decided to involve third parties. Could it be that ex-girlfriend we promised to marry but then ditched last minute because she kept mispronouncing management in public? I mean, could it be your landlord who you keep telling stories every time they ask for rent money? Ah, Ndara, didn't you see the eco cash? I'm sure it's come through. Probably. In other news, the MDC Alliance organized some jambanja for election reforms and the week was there. Comrades, we are here at Africa Unity Square at the MDC Alliance demo for election reforms and we are going to hear why the people are here and, and what they think and, and wow. What's so bad about Zek anyway? It's senseless for us to stay home. We are even surprised by those who are not here, the Zanpi of peoples, because they are, they are not in support of a free and fair election. Mm -hmm. The question is, why are they not supporting a free and fair election? They must be there, here, because this is much more important than the November March itself. Mm -hmm. The voice of the people is only the voice of God when it's heard. The voice of the people is only the voice of God when it's implemented. The voice of God is only the voice of God when it's adhered to. When ED starts to listen to people, that's when we understand that he is with the people. He is with us. But if he says Zek is, is printing ballot paper within our, our absence, that's so foolish, that's so lunatic and senseless. Hence, we're standing here to support the free and fair election for advocate Nelson Chamisa, our honorable at hand, our rightful president. We also stand here surprised by even our dogs which are not here because even the price of bone meat at home is going to be decided by this demonstration. Mm -hmm. Where are those pictures? register. two separate things. two parallel lines. Then the we must Zimbabwe. Tive independent. Tive taka sununguka. Kuzeki muno munyika. Kana vachida zezano. Voenda wano mira wama candidate ezano. Vosi ra vasi ra vasi na mabato. Voenda kuzeki. Saka truthio that placard that you've got is what does that mean? Is that zano mathematics? Yes, it's zano mathematics. The nukusha ama kuti kwa sub president we nyika ruto is open for for business. Achita za mathematics ye ku ECD. Nige zichimbori we. It's not a real demo without the Rastas, because the Amarasta, I put say, Marasta, big up, big up. So, comrades, are you here for the Chamisa demo? Because I thought Rastas would really support a, a Brian Mteki. Yeah? No, we're here for the Chamisa demo, because mm -hmm. we're tired of suffering in this country here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't keep getting pushed around by Zeke. 
Zek doesn't answer all the questions for all the Zimbabweans. Mm. Ask the Zimbabweans stand for Zimbabwe. Natural, we iry. Comrades out there, this uh, demo has got many different people, Marasta, my youths, and also we've also got another faction, Team Bronco, uh, is also here. Uh, they want to address a yeah, silver man from Team Bronco. That's another faction. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Highest. Mdara Saka, tell, tell us what brings you here, apart from a nice sunny day to drink some Bronco. Zimbabwe is in a state of mercy. Since 1980, when we removed the Union Jack, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Zimbabwean flag, everything has been in a messy. We used to enjoy three meals a day. Now we are enjoying one meal a day like a dog. Girl, all I need, I don't want to be a counselor. I don't want to be an MP. I need education. How am I going to be of service to this coming government, this coming Kenani, the promised Kenani to Moses? Only Joshua he had to witness Kenani. Nigari, Shangrai is the Moses. He couldn't cross the river Jordan. Go, call me out to Yes, we can, Zimbabwe. America, Zimbabwe, yes, we can. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Zimbabwe, where's a white, black, colored Indian? As long as we are a Zimbabwean citizen, you qualify to the seat of presidency. As long as you know, we have got wives, kids, and children, they have got to enjoy life. We mustn't regret why we were born. Even the unborn child, she's crying within the mother's womb. Got it and call me all together. Look direct to my eye. Spare me your life here, not the deaf one. Got it. It pains me deep down to the marrow of my bone. Ed, Ed, he, he's legalized. He's legalized Mbanje. He's, he's he's done it for the people. So what what more could you want from Chamisa? We want jobs. We want people, all the youth, to go to work. Mm. Because what's the use to have Mbanje when you can't buy it? You need money to buy the Mbanje. Mm -hmm. You get it. What Isaac is doing in this country is not, is, not, is not good. So that's why we are here for demonstrating, telling the Zek boss and the other colleagues and the Zanu PF we are not happy about what they are doing because they are the one who are, they are the one which are saying we want free and fair elections. Yes, I want it to be a free fair election because we are so tired of ZANPF. We want to live a better life. We want better lives for our own kids. We can't even buy houses for our own selves because why? We don't have jobs, we don't have money, we have nothing. Mm -hmm. So with ZANPF, nothing is going to is gonna make it right. Mm -hmm. With ZANPF has to go. Dara, please vote for me. Do you believe in a new Zimbabwe? Then go along to the hashtag Our Zimbabwe Citizens Convention happening on the 20th of July in Harare. Citizens, civic organizations and social movements will be coming together to say what is our Zimbabwe dream and how will we hold a new government after elections to account. For more info, see Citizens Manifesto. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magamba TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you, and, ah, sorry, I've got a message from ZANU PF, I, I have to take this. Take mine.